Got the Solara S250DC coming in at $169,937 here at the boat show. These are really, really popular boats it looks like. Um, there's a lot of interest in them. Here is an F300 Yamaha, but I want to show you that rigging tube. Look at how they did that rigging tube. Comes out on like 90s and then pulls around to the back of the boat. So that is super cool. Can't really do that unless you've got digital electronics. This is more of like a bow rider. I'm not going to get into the boat just because there's so many people in here, but pretty open, wide, got a lot of area to hang out and um, like a dual console type of boat. Got the Solara 250 coming in the back of it, like tons of room on the back. I like that, how much space you got on the transom to walk around. Um, here you've got a seat, so that pops out in here not sure what this is open this up looks like we got a live wheel back in there and then you've got another seat that pops up there big huge open window that opens up into the pilot house area you've got camera right there bimini top over the whole back of it come into the cabin this is like this laminate hardwood flooring type thing really really smooth i like it look at this seat so this seat will flip forward and back so that way you can kind of sit out that way out of the back and then also flip it forward to sit at this table. That's pretty interesting. We've got a cooktop right here. We've also got probably a fridge down there. You got a wet bar right there. Captain seat, camera on it so that way you can see there's cameras all around the boat. So that is the bow camera that shows the bow and then that is the aft camera showing the back of the boat. That is really, really sweet. I like that. Hellmaster EX controls, and then over here, more space in the um, for the passenger, cup holders, little spot to throw all your stuff, and the inside of the boat, the cabin looks really, really nice for the bedroom area, two speakers up there in the front, and then your head area, got yourself a sink, and then the toilet, I do not see a shower, actually, yeah, that handle's going to come out so you can shower in there as well, yeah. That was the Solara S250C. And again, 189,937. Looks like factory direct. But these, these boats seem to be very, very popular. There's a lot of people on them. Here is the 250 DC 169. And again, that rigging, the clear path rigging. I do like this. I mean, that is super slick to get the rigging back. Again, with DEC, you can do that. We've got a tow bar, so you can tow a you know, tuber or something like that, whatever you want. Totally open. And you got cameras all in the back back here. Looks like this here. You got two seats that'll flip forward and back. Very nice. Got seating on the side back here and another live wheel back there. Seat right there. Grill right here. And you got your sink right there. Got a captain seat right there. Cameras on the front, super cool. Toggle switches or rocker switches for all the boat control, bow thruster. And there is your Helmmaster EX control box down in here. Take a look in the head sink, head area. In the bow, really open, lots of seating, lots of cup holders. It looks like these boats, the only option is to come basically fully loaded. You've got a Controller for the radio right there, which that makes that very nice. And then also the windless controller right there. It looks like, oh, you've even got a ladder right here to get out of the front of the boat. So really, really cool. These boats look really, really hot. Got the S250 CW, 169,000 again. Really popular boats, so I'm not gonna be able to get up in here, but tons of features, shades all the way around them. Go take a look at this one here. Looks like we got somebody in that one. This looks like the S310 SC. Coming in at $383,937. Looks like this one is got twin Yamaha F300 4.6 or 4.2 liter V6s on the back of them. Coming up the back here, looking in. Tons of space on the transom area, looking really, really good. We've even got a grill in the back back here. 
really, really nice. I like how the grill is on the transom area. That's super fresh. And then also back to these rigging tubes, where you've got that, whatever they call it, that no interference or clear path rigging tubes. That's sweet design. I like that, that someone's actually came up with that. Wash down right there. It looks like that is hot water wash down. Or no, that's a fuel. So fuel wash down. Live well here in the back corner. Shower up onto here so you can clip the sunshade and your shower comes out of there. That's pretty sweet feature. Totally open coming in there. How you doing? Um, got a seat in the back back here. Another bench seat. Looks like this folds out and then looks like the seat will fold out both directions. So you can either have it face in the back or you can flip the thing forward and the thing is going to let you be right here looking forward. So as you're going, there's both of your armrests. That is super slick for being bi-directional seating for the back. I, I like that. That is cool. And another seat right there. We've got plenty of storage and tackles and stuff right here. We've got a little fridge there. We've got a sink area. I'm not sure what's in here. Maybe just another area to store glasses and stuff like that. Huge area of seating, dining area. You've also got another seat, so this will flip forward. So more bi-directional seating, I like all that. Cup holders underneath this, and this folds over to be a full table. These things are just loaded. TV out here in the middle, four cup holders on the bottom. You got this insane like flared monitor type dash thing that turns. That is insane. That turns back and forth. So you've got your cameras, split screen, one to the back, one to the front. That is awesome. You can have your chart plotter, engine data. It's got joystick. You got another phone charger right there. This thing is loaded out. So rocker switches, all your full maneuverability from Yamaha, and then, you know, total control of the boat. This is, this boat is really sweet. Coming up in here to the bow, it's all decked out. You've got a radio controller over there. You've got basically a whole full bed up here. Tons and tons of cup holders everywhere. Um, access to the anchor locker. Now let's go take a look at the cabin to see what the cabin looks like. Wow, so massive bed all the way down. Um, radio controls down here. Looks like we got a nice bathroom in here with, there's your rigging and everything inside there. Head and a sink. Shower on the wall, so this boat is fully loaded. I mean, if you want amenities and features, this thing's got it. And again, this was a Solara. Yeah, Solara S310. For being 31 feet, this thing is decked out. Got another Solara S310CW coming in at 373, 937. This one's actually got twin F300s again, V6, 4.2 liter Yamahas. Like the handrail on the side. So as you come in the boat, you got a nice handrail right there. Same thing, got the shower on the bimini top that covers the whole back um, cockpit area of the boat. A lot more open than the other one. The other one was all decked out with all kinds of stuff. This one actually has a tow bar, so you can have a, um, a tuber or a skier or whatever you want. Looks like this one is more seedy, more decked out for fishing, be my guess. Got a grill back here in the back and live well over here on the corner. In here, looking at, looks like a kill box for your fish. Got a cooler right there, two seats, two bucket seats. A nice like captain's chair with, you know, you can walk around both sides of it. So that is pretty cool. Coming over here to the dash, again, all decked out, Garmin's, you got cameras in the front, cameras in the back, you got rocker switches, joystick, full maneuverability from Yamaha, Hellmaster EX, and the control for the radio right there, looking like cup holders everywhere. If we look down into the cabin, very similar to the other 310, but TV right there, bed, little kitchenette area with a crew egg all put in there with a microwave, speaker, Got a refrigerator and um, in the bathroom, 
we've got sink head and I don't see the shower so oh probably this gonna come out so there's your shower let's go to the bow and take a look at what the bow looks like again you can walk all the way around this chair here so you can go both sides cup holders on the side of it that is super nice come up to the bow and then this thing is all kinds of seating got a table there your controls for the radio two seats right here that look really really fresh and then you've also got these steps so you can like step up onto there and walk around the boat the other way so definitely a cool boat ladder out the front so you can park this thing on the beach bow forward get out on that ladder and go out to the front of the boat super nice feature probably why these boats seem to be really really popular and quite a bit of people on these boats